Welcome back. This is our house in Apollo Beach with our fruit tree farm. We have a bunch of papayas, big papayas. Everything looks kind of scraggly because we just went through a, uh, a really bad storm, Helena. It didn't come close to us, luckily, but it still flooded every single tree in my yard. We had water all the way up to the back porch. Luckily, it never came in the house. I don't think my uh, dwarf nail was going to make it. Uh, the sapodilla still looks good. Some of my uh, grafts, that's a sweet Caroline. These are all seedlings. And then uh, some Lisa Adamoyas, some more papayas. I planted the papayas in the beginning just for some shade for the garden, but it doesn't look like they're going to make it. And then my jackfruit, it's not looking good. Everything's turning brown on it. The salt water really did its job on these plants. I'm probably going to yank that one out of the ground and put it in a pot this afternoon. It's another grafted that I picked a twig from a neighbor's tree. And then see everything starting to sag on this and not look good. I've been watering it and watering it. Hopefully it's because of the too much water, but I don't think so. I think the salt's finally soaking up into the plant. Unfortunately, look how beautiful this, this tree was. Loaded. And it's only like maybe four or five months old, maybe six months, maybe at the most. This little one's still looking super healthy. It has some fruit on it. This is one of my personal trees that I got a uh, really good mango out of on a seedling project I did back 10, 12 years ago, like I was saying earlier in the earlier video. This is a seedling avocado that did not turn out good. I uh, I whacked it down and it grew back so fast, but I'm, I'm going to try to uh, graft onto it, see what happens. This is my sweet Caroline original mother tree it uh doesn't look like it like the salt water too much but we have some new pushes hopefully everything will be healthy i've been purging it case get out of there. there's hornets in there come here and then here is a butterscotch sapodilla looking healthy it puts out a bunch of flowers but it never fruits it's only a little over a year old, but it just it never fruits. Come on, Case. Let's go for a walk. Come around here. I've got some sugar apples from an Asian lady that had really good sugar apples and luckily sold me a couple of trees. And we go around to the front. Unfortunately, the boat's in the driveway because of the hurricane. And, uh, we almost needed it. And here is a Oro Negro avocado. This thing is growing like a weed. I have one avocado on it from this year. And uh, it got beat up real bad in the storm. Not looking like it's gonna last. Here's a PPK. And a Silas Wood, Sapodilla. We've got a bunch of Sapodillas on it, a bunch of fruits. They're all coming out really good. This one flowers like crazy also. Case, get over here. This is a Cat Saigon I picked up. Here is another Sapodilla. This one is a Moliche, I think, is taken, even though it's still in the pot, it's taken off. And then here's one of my grafting projects. This was a seedling that didn't turn out good. 
the, 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 the mangoes were horrible, fibrous. They split real bad, but here's all they're, they're taking. So we'll see how it works. Have a bunch of them on there. Here's one that I already took a while back. It's growing good. So we got to have a bunch, bunch of graphs on there. It looks like all of them took like 100% on this one. Let me come over here. And I've got another sapodilla. This one is another marina. And this thing just went off like a bomb, but it's uh, one that I didn't pay enough attention to when I bought. And it looks like this is the only grafted branch. It's the only one that flowers. It's never produced a fruit yet. Case, get over here. And then this other side, the whole tree has never laid a flower yet. So I didn't pay good enough attention when I bought the plant, the graft. So come on, buddy. This is another PPK. Hopefully the salt water doesn't affect it too bad. And then this is a Maria Black avocado. It uh, It's growing like crazy, luckily. It didn't get any salt water on it, luckily. And then here's a Shree Shampoo uh, Long On. Come on, buddy. I'm going to plant some, probably the, maybe the Lisa's over here. Not sure yet. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Get in here. Ding dong. And then over here, we have another sapodilla. And this one has put out some fruits. They're growing. They're growing pretty good. It's got a couple of bigger ones and it has a whole bunch of little small ones that it's just now starting to to grow so all in all it's pretty much our garden except for this uh another kohala long gone it put out a bunch of fruits this year and then we have a simmons avocado which i'm getting ready to move and a poor puny strawberry tree that doesn't look like it fared too well in the salt water. It definitely did not like the salt. The bottom leaves have already all come off of it. But that's our little project we've got going on. I just got into it not too long ago, so we've got some time. Some dogs, some deer sausages I made. And a beautiful evening. Had to replace all the outlets on my dock because of the storm. But that's it. Thanks for watching. What do you think, Case? Want to say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Want to say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye. See you.